Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Claudette Stampin' with Miss Puff. And today what I'm going to go ahead and do is recreate this card here in the Stampin' Out card. They made this birthday card using um, the Blow Out Candles stamp set right here. But I have the Happy Birthday Gorgeous stamp set that I'm going to be using to put my own spin on that card. So in my collection, I have this stamp set I'm going to be using. on page 72 in our new catalog which came out June of this year 2018 if you don't have an independent um, representative with stamping up I would love to be your representative uh, my site is down listed down below leave me a comment and I'll be happy to get you a catalog out in the mail so the colors that I'm going to be using here is um, Pacific Point and Berry Burst. In the Happy Birthday Gorgeous stamp set on the balloon, it has this um, writing here in the middle of it saying hooray. I'm going to go ahead and use a piece of washi tape and cover up that area because I just want the outline of the balloons. I already pre-started some of those so the videos don't be long and I'm going to go ahead and use my Berry Burst and after you do that you're going to take your washi tape off And I'm going to go ahead and stamp this a little bit off the card. Okay. And, um, let's see here. One more. So now they have the strings that comes with it. I'm just going to try to do this halfway. It's kind of long. I'm trying to ink it up just maybe halfway down. So it doesn't really get into my other balloon there. Also, they have these little squiggly stuff that looks like confetti, or I guess it could be like a squiggly um, line coming off of the balloon as well. I'm going to go ahead and get some of the Pacific Point, some of the blue in there. Let me clean my... I'll put another balloon here off the center. Have some of these coming off the page. All right. All right, let me clean my stamp. And I would put one more bl a balloon in the corner using the Pacific Blue. And you always want to protect your work area. And with Stampin' Up! we also sell uh, these little um, worksheets that you could put down. Now, 
after I did that, that's just the outline. What I'm going to do is go ahead and use... Um, this is the blender pen that Stampin' Up! sells. It's kind of pretty neat. You could use it with your ink or also what we have are, are my um, water pencils. Um, Stampin' Up! also sell water pencils that you could use to color in these balloons too as well. So for instance with the Pacific Point, I'm going to color this in with the pencil. And let's see. I don't know if you could see those harsh lines there. And then make sure my tip is cleaned and once you, you're going to look at this, this harsh line right here and then once you use your pencil it kind of blends it out I don't know if you could see that moving kind of smooths that out. I don't know if you see that hot line disappeared. And that's what's nice with these uh, the blending pens. And you get three in a pack. And uh, I think it's three, you get three for twelve dollars. I think that's a pretty cool price. Okay. And then you just wipe it off and it just wipes off clean so it doesn't transfer colors. And you can see my tip is dark, but it really does not transfer colors. Okay, so I'm just going to use now the ink to do my berry burst and color in those balloons. I'm just going to go off camera and finish color the, coloring those. Okay, so now I'm back. I already colored those in. I, pre I really like how the, wa the uh, watercolor pencils look versus the ink. And also I'm going to show you here maybe with a different color on the water pencils. Um, and see if you could see how it looks. Let's see. Mm, I want to try Old Navy. So this is Old Navy here. I'm, I'm going to make this dark line here. Okay, and then let's see. I'm going to take the, let's see, the thick side of the blender pen and look how this um, blends it out. You see that? I think that's so cool. Okay, and then after you just wipe it off. You get a scrap piece of paper and wipe it off and it gets clean and you move on to your other color. I think those are so neat. So I'm saving up or my um, I have a monthly budget for my craft sets and I am saving up for I'm just collecting the blend, the stamping blends which is nice because they have the different colors, two tones like um, one color comes with two different um, tones. So if you have um, say for instance the Calypso Coral I have, it comes in a light and a dark, so it really makes blending really nice. Uh, but if you don't have that, but you have the blender pen, you could use a blender pen with your inks or your watercolors. Okay, so moving on now to the card. I have also the Framelit Dyes in Happy Birthday. I went ahead and used Whisper White. And run that through the big shot and cut that out okay and what I'm going to do is sponge this using Knight of Navy and I just broke um, torn off a piece of sponge and put it on the clip and get my Knight of Navy ink pad and dip that in there let's see and I'm just going to sponge it on here and get on that. I'm going to have 
to be careful because this is fragile and I don't tear it. So you could go over certain areas where you want dark, darker. And you're going to have a little bit of white showing through. And get the birthday part to be a little darker than the happy part. Good. And I'm going to put that there and there. Birthday part. What I'm going to add is some ribbon to that. And we have this ginger um, ribbon in Night of Navy and White. And I'm going to get some glue dots. Just gonna run this through the loop of the Y. Secure it with the glue dot. There. Maybe. No, my glue dot is still on the my scissors. And get a glue dot and do the same thing with the B. And uh, let's see, we'll run it, center that somehow, and then run this to the back. And get another glue dot. Make sure it's centered now. have the a card here, um, Night of Navy card, and I already put um, lemon lime twists on top, and then I'm going to add this here to the top of it. There, and I'm going to get my, my multi-purpose glue, glue that down. You know what I should have done? I didn't glue down my happy birthday. Anyways, get that in the center. And there, that would be helpful. Alright. I'm just going to add little spots of um, multi-purpose glue to the back of this. Spots. I should have um, do this first before I did my ribbon to the back, but okay. There we go. That would work. Okay. And 
and then I'm going to add maybe a three-dimensional balloon to that. And this is my balloon punch. So I'm just going to punch a pink. We'll see how it looks. Okay. And I'm going to use the stamping chalk marker. Put a little white line on it, make it look more dimensional. have a piece of twine. This is not stamping up twine. This is white and navy. Just have that in my stash. Use whatever you have in your stash, you know. You're not breaking your um, wallet. And I'm using a little glue dot here. And I'll put my little twine there to the back. I'm going to add some dimensional to the back of this balloon. one card earlier and the one card the one that I made earlier have similar colors to the one in the catalog so on this one the base card base is rich raspberry and on the balloons this is um, Bermuda Bay and lemon lime twist this is Night of Navy. Um, the Happy Birthday Sponge in Berry Burst. And of course, the uh, facing on the cardstock is in Whisper White. And see, it's, the colors are kind of similar with that. I also um, did an ombre sponge on this happy birthday with the lemon line twist and the Bermuda Bay. That would look nice on a cardstock, say with the tranquil tide to make more of a masculine card. I think that looks pretty there with that umbrella. Alrighty, so that's it. For this time, thanks for checking in. Please like, share, and subscribe. Happy stamping!